All right, we are talking about how to draw isotherms. Remember that an isotherm is a line on a map that connects area of equal air temperatures. So um, if I wanted to draw isotherms for every five degrees Fahrenheit, uh, but I don't have a lot of places on my map that are exactly like 90 or 95 or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So I have to interpolate. And so what that means is I have to think in my head, I have to think for a minute and say, where does this number fall between what two numbers? And then I would draw the line in between those two numbers on the map. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm gonna start over here in the mountains. And I have a 90, five degree Fahrenheit. And then the next place I have 95 is way over here. So I have to figure out how to get it over there um, without kind of, without crossing over any other existing isotherms. So I know that there's 93, a line of 93 degrees Fahrenheit somewhere right around here and then 90 and 91 over here. So I know 95 is greater than 93. 90 is less than 93. So I need, so this side of these two 93s is going to be less. So I'm going to draw my 95 line over and around. I get to here. And I'm going to think for a minute. Well, I know that there would be an isotherm here between the two 93 degrees because those two are equal temperatures. But I know that 95 goes in between 93 and 100. So I'm going to just go right in between 93 and 100. I'm going to connect to my next 95. And then I don't really see, if I go and look all around the 95, I see 97, 99, 98, 98, 99. So all of those are much, much, much larger. And I can't find a way to go in between any of those. So I have to go back out this way because I know 93 falls, or 95, sorry, falls between 93 and 99. So I can go back out this way. And then I know that 95 is between 75 and 99. So I can go between them. 95 is also between 86 and 89, 98. So I can go between there. So I have a 95 degree isotherm. So my next isotherm, since I'm going every five degrees, is gonna be a 90 degrees. So I start at 90, and then I know that I have, I can't, so 90 is less than 93. If I go past that, then I run into 95 degrees, and that's even higher, so that doesn't work out. So maybe I have to go up this way towards the 75, go around 91, and I can loop in those guys. So maybe my 90 degree um, isotherm looks like that. And then I have to do 100 degrees. So I have 90, 95, the next five up is 100 degrees. So I can start here. Let's see. I have 95 and 97. I know 100 is not between those numbers. But then I have 101 and 97. I'm pretty sure 100 falls between there, so I could draw through here. And then if I go, keep going this direction, my line would be in between 101 and 102. 100 is not between 101 and 102. It's less than both of those. So I'm going to steer clear of there. And I'm going to maybe try putting my line here. Ah, yeah. Between 97 and 102. 100 definitely falls between 97 and 102. And then I see nice and clearly all the way up to my 100 point. <laughs> and then I think I might have another 100 degree isotherm. Um, if I go, yep, so it looks like if I start here and I start going south, that if I go between 102 and 99, that's definitely, 100 is definitely in between there. And I keep going south can't go here because that's 101 and 101, and we know that 100 is not equal to 101, but it's less than, so it's between 101 and 99. So I would go between 101 and 99, and then I would have to go between 101 and 99 again. 
So I have another 100 degree isotherm. Let's see, and then my next five degree change is to 95 degrees. So I'm going to extend it up this way. Let's see here. So I need, so I know that, let's see, that 95 does not fall between 102 and 99, so I can't put it there. It doesn't fall between 99 and 97. It doesn't fall between 97 and 97, so I must have to go like, out. And that's okay. We can have just a little corner of North Carolina being 95 degrees. That's fine. Um, but I can draw maybe another isotherm around here for 90. So if I start here, this way, um, I know that 90 falls, 90 does not go between 99 and 94. It's definitely not there on a number line. But 90 does fall between 94 and 87. So I can go up that way. And then I just have much higher temperatures, so I go out that way. So now I have five degree isotherms on my map. So this is my 90 degree isotherm. Even though I only had one 90 degree on my map, I could figure out by knowing which numbers on a number line 90 degrees falls between. I could figure it out and I could place it in on the map. Kind of a little bit of guesswork. And I have my 95 degree Fahrenheit isotherm. Even though I only had two points of 95, I still know where 95 is on a number line. I know that it's in between sets of numbers. And so I can make my isotherm fit there. And then my 100 degree isotherm there. And another one here. And then I had two, a little corner of 95 because I couldn't make the isotherm go down here where all the temperatures are super high and much, much higher than this, and there's no numbers for it to fit in between. And then, again, here, um, I could only go between two numbers, and so I had to steer clear of all these other numbers that um, 90 degrees is not in between. So that's how you draw isotherms on a map, even when you only have a very few of those actual temperatures.